Tesla just issued a very serious warning to all of their customers, letting them know that a big change is coming soon that's not going to be good. Listen up, because you do not want to miss this news from Tesla. Plus, Tesla has finally, yes, finally released seven brand new colors with some more surprise options on the way. This is really great. We've got some insane lease specials right now in the Model 3 and Model Y that make these cars cheaper than they've ever been before. Listen up on how you can score a huge discount count on these cars. And also we've got some info on Cybertruck that is controversial, some good news and bad news here that is going to help you either justify your decision to wait for this thing or just dump it and move to something else. But also huge thanks to LastFit for sponsoring this video and remind you, you can win $25 of totally free Amazon money. All you've got to do is watch to the very end of the video because we've got a surprise you don't want to miss. First up for today, we're now getting our best look yet at the all new refresh Model Y coming out of Giga Shanghai over in China. And we can see what those changes look like in real life. Probably the most noticeable change is going to be on the inside with the removal of the wood and white soft touch material trim uh, on the dashboard there. And now it is replaced by this new sort of gray soft touch woven material that does look a bit more sleek and modern and also has some RGB ambient lighting built in behind. The person who took this photo confirms that unlike the Model 3 refresh, the lighting in this car, the RGB ambient lighting does not extend anywhere beyond uh, just the front dash system. It's also different than what we've got in the newer Teslas. Uh, in Cybertruck and the new Model 3, for example, you've really sort of got this thin line that goes all the way around the interior. Looks super cool. On the new refreshed China Model Y, we do have this RGB ambient lighting that can be controlled from the screen, but it looks like it was more sort of built in to sort of accommodate the existing dash than it was to copy what we have uh, with the new Model 3 and the Cybertruck, which many sort of speculate is even more evidence that this is sort of a stopgap update as Tesla really readies the bigger Project Juniper refresh, the front, back, interior refresh. This is sort of there to sort of hold everyone over until that refresh comes sometime probably later towards the end of next year. So if you do want a, a bit of a, a refresh from the Model Y, it's now available in China, probably will be coming to some other markets very soon. Uh, but that's what we've got right now. We also should know, very interesting move here from this leaker, that uh, there is no hardware 4 on these Model Ys. Tesla is still using only hardware 3, at least internationally, uh, on the Model Y. So um, not exactly sure why they're doing that, but uh, again, uh, it is worth noting. Next up for today, following the major price cuts to the Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla has lowered the referral bonus for all new cars. Tesla owners used to be able to refer uh, anyone, a friend, a family member, anyone online, and then give a discount of $500 off a Model 3 or Model Y, or up to $1,000 off if that person took delivery of a Model S or Model X, plus three free months of the full self-driving package. But over the last couple of weeks, as Tesla has continued to cut prices on all of their vehicles, especially here in the US, uh, they have begun to really phase out that referral program. And now, no matter which you know model Tesla you get, you can only earn a max maximum of $250 off regardless of the model. And like I mentioned, you still get three months of FSD for free. Also a little pro tip here, I have not seen shared anywhere else. I actually discovered this just myself by accident. Uh, if you're looking to snag an inventory Tesla, which oftentimes uh, inventory cars have much bigger discounts than what you'll find anywhere else on Tesla's website. And these are mostly new cars or demo cars. They're typically lightly used. Uh, Tesla has actually changed their inventory system to now show you all cars deliverable to you regardless of your specific location. So Tesla used to have a cap on the radius. They would only allow you to search 200 miles out. But now it looks like there's a new drop down menu where you can check at least the whole state. I'm in Southern California right now. I used to be able to only see up to 200 miles away and there were no Model Xs, at least no Model X plaids in inventory. But now if I'm able to go in to select all of the deliverable options, I now can actually see three Model X plaids, funny enough, but a couple hundred miles away from me up in Fremont at the Fremont factory. So now I'm not sure how far this radius extends. I know the different laws uh, apply to different states. And if you can buy a car in one state and bring it to another, things are different on a state-by-state -state basis here in the U.S. Uh, but now I definitely would recommend you check that if you're willing to make a little bit of a road trip out of it. Uh, you may be able to uh, find a good deal on a Tesla, exactly the one you're looking for, that might be a little more than 200 miles away from you. All right, this next story is super exciting because Tesla is finally listening. They're bringing several brand new colors to the Model 3 and Model Y. 
But like everything that Tesla does, it ruffled a few feathers, and some think this move is a little controversial and maybe a little bit of a ripoff. Tesla announced earlier this week that they've got their own in-house custom wrapping service now for 2023 Model 3s and Model Ys. You can now choose from seven different colors on the website. There's Glacier Blue, there's Forest Green, Satin Rose Gold, Slip Gray, Satin Ceramic White, Satin Stealth Black, and Crimson Red. These are the brand new color choices you can choose from, and uh, you can get this wrap professionally done from Tesla themselves, though, it ain't gonna be cheap. I should also mention that there is a clear offering as well if you just want sort of the paint protective nature of this and not change the color, you can go with that. And all the colors I mentioned are going to range from $7,500 to $8,000. That is the cost of the whole package, materials and labor. And there's been a big debate over the last couple of hours and the last couple of days on whether this is a good deal or not. And many are quick to point out that uh, for one, Tesla is doing a more extensive installation than you may have from a local shop. And also they're using colored PPF film, not your typical vinyl wrap. So it is higher quality material. They're doing a more extensive sort of protection on your vehicle. And obviously it's Tesla, you're paying a premium for it and you can decide whether that's worth it or not to you. Of course, in addition to that being a little controversial, there's also two big pieces of info here you need to know. One is that for whatever reason, this is only available for 2023 model years and newer for the Model 3 and Model Y. So if you have an older Tesla, that's not going to be the case uh, as an option for you if you wanted to do that. And also it's only currently available in two locations right now in the Southern California area, one in West Covina and one in the Carlsbad area. All right, next up, after Tesla recently slashed prices yet again on the Model 3 and Model Y, I've got several new updates here on pricings and incentives and specials you want to know about right now because you don't want to miss this because it's good news and also, of course, as always, some bad news. Now, as much as I love the Model Y and I love all the space that you're going to get in the back of that car and having access to a hatchback, one of the big missing features with the Model Y, something you've got to sort of fix day one that I personally really recommend, is some kind of protection for the backs of the seats in the very furthest back part of the Model Y. Because if you're anything like me, you're constantly loading boxes and strollers and backpacks and things are shuffling around on the back and getting scraped and scuffed. You wanna obviously use your Model Y to haul things around, but you wanna keep those seat backs protected and safe. And the best way to do that is with these amazing seat back protectors made by LastFit. Not only do these seat back protectors look super sleek and match the design and aesthetic of your Tesla, but they're extremely easy to install really easy to keep clean and just add that much needed layer of protection to the back seats of your Tesla. Trust me, you're gonna have things in and out of there over the lifetime of this car. Trust me, whether you're uh, as careful as possible, things are still gonna get scuffed and scraped around and bumped around and having these gives you a sort of great peace of mind and is gonna keep the back of your Tesla safe. One of the things that I really love about these last fit protectors is that they're made of high quality TPE material that is non-toxic, environmentally friendly, and odorless. It's extremely durable and the wear resistance built in here is crazy. It's gonna last and last and last, probably last longer than you actually own the Model Y. Like I mentioned, install is a breeze here. They're super easy to clean and they're coming packed with a lifetime hassle-free warranty. LastFit is well known for their amazing protective liners. I've got some in my Model Y, I've got some in my Model 3. They make some really great products that are custom made for your Tesla. And these ones are very, very important. Again, trust me, you're gonna wanna keep the seat backs of your Tesla safe. The best way to do that is with these protectors from LastFit. If you wanna learn more, check them out for yourself today and pick some up for your Model Y, like I said, these are one of those things I recommend on day one. And if you have your Model Y and you're not protecting the backs of the seats, do it now. Hit the link down below to learn more and check out what LastFit has to offer today. First, Tesla just announced they're offering some very special lease discounts for a limited time for the entire Model 3 and Model Y lineup that I believe are the best lease prices from Tesla we've ever seen. There's some really good deals right now if you're open to leasing a car. Of course, the best deal to be had on these lease specials is gonna be with the base model and with the Model 3 rear wheel drive, the standard range base offering, you're now looking at a $329 per month payment. It's actually down about $100 from where it was just a couple of days ago. Model Y rear wheel drive, this new standard range offering here in the US is also a similar story, down a hundred bucks to just $399 per month. Just to give you a bit more on details here, this special pricing is going to include $4,500 down plus 
a destination fee of about 12-ish hundred, I believe. There's a little extra payment in there that you should be aware of. It's a 10,000 mile per year lease. And this is uh, the pricing for a 36 month term. Though I do wanna mention uh, something big that's sort of making its rounds online is that if you select to do a two year term instead of three years, you can actually get an even better price. Again, same down payment, same mileage restriction. That'll bring the price of a standard range Model 3 down to just $250 a month. That is $250 a month to get a brand new Tesla with some pretty amazing features. That's a really good deal you probably don't want to pass up. If you're not a fan of standard range, don't worry because Tesla has brought these changes to the other models in their lineup too. For example, the long range Model Y is now $469 per month with the special. Model 3 long range is $439 per month. And performance models of both are going to be $539 for a Y and $529 for the Model 3 performance. And obviously, like always, there's some pros and cons to this move. We know that the refresh Model 3 is coming to the United States and the North American market in a couple of months. We have a feeling a Model Y refresh is coming pretty soon as well. But these lease prices, even if they're just an attempt for Tesla to sort of clear out their existing inventory, does seem to be working as there's a lot of interest around these lower prices. Obviously, they're really trying to aggressively move their inventory out before the end of the year. And sort of on that note, Tesla just issued a new warning to customers you want to make sure you don't miss. There's a brand new big bold warning on every page for the Model 3 and Model Y and even the Model X on Tesla's website that warn customers that federal incentives may be changing soon. This new notice basically says that all models might be getting a decrease in the $7,500 uh, federal tax incentive uh, as it could be cut in half going from $7,500 down to $3,750. That would be for all models of the 3, the Y, and even that base Model X. Basically, all models of Tesla's that qualify for federal incentives may be going in half pending federal guidance. So basically Tesla is trying to suggest that if you do want to lock in those savings and you do qualify for those federal incentives, you want to take delivery before the end of the year because things may change next year, not for the better. And seeing as that we're now sort of in the middle of October, now is about the time we start to hear rumors about the big Tesla software update for the year. This is Tesla's holiday update and it's typically the biggest update we get all year. Now, yes, Tesla cars are constantly getting better. Tesla's constantly adding new updates and features to the car and the mobile app and the software. But if you want the big one, the most exciting one, that always happens around Christmas, the very end of the year, because in one update, Tesla adds a ton of new features and tweaks and improvements, and usually, at least the past couple of years, has given us some all new UI changes to make our Teslas look and feel different than any other update we've seen previously. For example, last year's holiday update was pretty jam-packed. It brought Apple Music support finally to Tesla's MyQ Smart Garage Door integration, Bluetooth controller support, Steam for the Model S and Model X, auto turn signals coming to uh, the Model 3 and Model Y, plus so much more. And this year, knock on wood, hopefully if uh, the rumors are anything to go off of, should also be a pretty jam-packed and exciting year for Tesla software updates. Now, I have done my best to scour the web to find everything I can find, and there's a little we know, but not a whole lot. Basically, some current uh, preview rumors suggest that Tesla is still working to bring Dolby Atmos to its vehicles with a software update, so you'd get a more immersive audio experience in your Tesla with your existing speakers. We're also hearing that Tesla might be bringing AirPlay to their vehicles. That's going to be super cool, so you could AirPlay video and music from your Apple device to the main screen on your Tesla. Also, Tesla is finally going to be bringing Bluetooth audio support for the back of their vehicles. We know that this rear center screen that first debuted in the Model S and Model X is getting more popular. It's now going to be in Cybertruck. It's in the refresh Model 3. But one of the big downsides to it right now is that if you've got kids or back passengers watching a movie, that audio is blaring through the entire speaker system and not you know, sort of contained to headphones. Tesla is now fixing that, according to Matthew Ryan. And also, hopefully, we see some additional media streaming options as well. We love Apple Music. I mean, Tidal is okay, too, but there are so many other ones. Different podcast apps, audiobook apps like Audible. There's YouTube Music, uh, Pandora, uh, Sirius XM on the 3 and the Y. Just having the option of more streaming media services would be really appreciated by many owners around the world. And Tesla did do some work last year to sort of make this process easier for new streaming services to join their software platform. Hopefully we see the fruits of that labor sometime later this year um, because we know car player Android Auto is never going to officially come, but hopefully Tesla could throw us a bone and at least give us some more options.
So I'm also extremely curious to see if we may see some major UI elements change with this update, specifically maybe Tesla taking what they learned with the Cybertruck user interface and bringing that to every other Tesla in their lineup. Specifically here on the Cybertruck video, we saw that Tesla moved the app sort of uh, dock from the bottom of the screen to the left side of the screen, going from a horizontal to a vertical orientation, which does actually save you a lot of space on your screen, especially in the smaller screens of the Model 3 or Model Y, where space is at a premium on the screen, moving those uh, app icons, or at least having the choice to move them in a vertical orientation, sort of off to the side, rather than being on the bottom, might be very cool to see. We also have here what is sort of this gradient that separates the Cybertruck visualization on the left versus versus the map and other stuff on the right. A gradient would be also sort of a great way to go to sort of blend the two together. Right now, I feel like when I use my Tesla, I've got these two big blocks. One big block is my map and my software, my settings, and the other is basically just the car and those visualizations. Being able to have some way to bring those two together, like this gradient, might be a great way to go. And does make a lot of sense for every Tesla vehicle in the lineup, not just for Cybertruck. There's a ton of new info here coming from someone who alleges they were able to take a ride in a performance Cybertruck that is like done, ready to go, and ready to be delivered. And from those who have looked into this person in the community, it seems like this source is an accurate person uh, that is able to give some pretty good uh, information. And if you believe what this person says, it might just sort of change your thoughts on Cybertruck for the better or for the worse. There's a whole lot here to unpack. According to the source, who then this info shared on X through Matthew Ryan, the performance of the performance level Cybertruck is set to rival that of Tesla's current, one of their current uh, performance kings, the Model X Plaid, and that it supposedly has a Plaid tri-motor powertrain under the hood to power the performance model. The source says that this suspension was also more comfortable on the Cybertruck than that on the S or the X, and also that it felt more luxurious than those vehicles, Tesla's current higher-end cars. They also shared that the turning radius was, quote, amazing, and the suspension shows the clearance in an actual measurement rather than just sort of settings for high, medium, or low. This source also says that the frunk on Cybertruck is very spacious, and unlike every other Tesla currently on the market, Cybertruck has a powered frunk, so it can automatically be opened and closed on its own from either inside the cabin on the touchscreen or from your Tesla mobile app on your phone. Same goes for the tonneau cover in the back as well that is automatic and powered. The lift gate, while it is automatic, uh, is not going to automatically close. It'll automatically open, but not close, so that's gonna be manual, and you're gonna have to close that yourself. Speaking of the truck bed, we're also learning that the bed of Cybertruck should have a total of three outlets, a mixture of 120-volt outlets and 240-volt outlets, probably two 120 and one 240, that'll be capable of bi-directional charging. So you may actually be able to plug in a 240 outlet with a NEMA 1450 adapter and charge your Tesla directly from your Cybertruck. We've seen uh, this done on some other EVs on the market right now, and if Cybertruck had this, it'd be very, very cool to see. And some last final tidbits here. This source says that the seats are wider and more comfortable to them inside of Cybertruck than in a Model X Plaid. The floor is carpeted, which is sort of surprising. And internally, Tesla does have a date set for the Cybertruck delivery event, which was supposed to happen at the end of September, but obviously didn't. Uh, but the info has not been shared publicly yet. We know a Cybertruck delivery event is on the horizon, but we still have no idea on when it's actually going to happen. So obviously I should just say this now, but it should go without saying that you've got to take this with a major grain of salt. But even if like half of these rumors are, uh, you know, actually turning out to be true, the Cybertruck is shaping up to be a pretty exciting and pretty versatile truck. We're getting more and more spottings of this vehicle every single day. We now hear it is in multiple parts of the US. And when you combine all this with the user interface video I showed you not too long ago, it looks like we've got a pretty complete package here with Cybertruck that is basically done. We've seen release candidates. We know Tesla now has their master candidate at Giga Texas. Uh, it seems like this truck is basically ready to start hitting the road and start going into the driveway of customers. In fact, all new drone footage from this week outside of Giga Texas appears to show hundreds of Cybertruck chassis, which many speculate means that mass production has officially started or that uh, Cybertruck production is now ramping up and they are moving full steam ahead at Giga Texas, making as many Cybertrucks as possible to hopefully start delivering to customers soon. 
As always, I want to hear your thoughts on the news of the week, your thoughts on Cybertruck, your thoughts on the Model 3 and Model Y, what you'd like to see from the new Model Y refresh, and all the news. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And if you want to win $25 of Amazon money totally for free, all you've got to do is three simple things. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, and tell me your favorite Tesla feature. If you own a Tesla, tell me the best thing you love about your car. If you don't own a Tesla, tell me why you really want a Tesla and what you're looking forward to. And if you hate your Tesla, well, tell me that too. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for your support. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see y'all in the next one.